dame, take me out to the... Oh. That's all I really know. Guys, I'm just gonna get right into today's video because I'm really, really excited. Um. Okay, there is a lot of explaining that I need to do in today's video, but let me say really, really quickly. <sighs> Good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. If you are new here, my name is Tanner Fox, and uh, we have a pretty fun story to tell you guys today. First of all, I feel like I need to explain something. It's dark outside. First thing that I kind of want to go over in today's video is why I haven't, well, not that I haven't been uploading, but like I missed two days ago, and then I almost missed today, but then this happened. <laughs> We're gonna get to that in one second, but uh... Man, Tanner, shut up. No one cares about your story. We want to see your ant farm. This is actually pretty insane. I got this ant farm about a week ago. Just look at these tunnels. They're just going so hard, and they're in there working hard. There's your update. Good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to another video. So there's a few things I want to go over before we actually start today's video. I'm filming, and I just showed you guys that it is, in fact, dark outside. So this morning, um, I had a lot of stuff going on, and I almost decided just to not vlog today because, like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I've been trying to put so much more uh, effort and, like, I've just wanted to love the videos that I've been making lately. So uh, today, not a lot was going on. A bunch of meetings and, like, boring stuff and... And I, I, I almost didn't want to film today. But, if you guys can tell by my shirt, this is a Padre shirt. It's a local football team here in uh, San Diego. They actually scored a bunch of goals tonight. I finally got to go to my first basketball game tonight. I hope you know I'm kidding. I got invited to go to the Padres game for my very first time. If you guys don't know what the Padres are, it's like a local San Diego baseball team. But it was like the craziest story. I ended up embarrassing myself in front of 40,000 people. I got to meet a bunch of fans. <laughs> We got like this full VIP experience, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a story time. I really, really screwed up because I didn't actually bring my camera. And as soon as I got there, I was like, oh no. Good thing iPhones are invented because I gotta record all of it. Guys, I just want to apologize also if it, if it sounds weird when I'm talking right now. I did lose my voice a little bit. Ramin and Mehdi from SD Rap actually set this entire thing up and invited me out. And I didn't really know what to think about it. I didn't even bring my vlog camera because I didn't want it to be boring for you guys. And then it ended up being really exciting. So anyways, this is what happened. First of all, I was under the impression that I was going to this normal baseball game. Like I was going to go sit in a seat. We were going to get like Crackle Jack or whatever that popcorn is called. And it's just like a normal baseball experience. We end up going in like this VIP line and Ramin didn't tell me that we actually had like special connections with, with one of the people that are very high up in the actual like stadium and Petco Park and all this really fun stuff. We get through security, we get these really fancy badges that I was so excited on that I ended up taking a picture of and I didn't realize that my seat number was on this actual ticket. We're gonna get to why that affected the whole night in a second. We start walking around and we're getting this like crazy tour of this entire arena and we're in the back rooms and we're in the back hallways. Then all of a sudden we end up on the actual field. We are walking on the field of like where the pro players are playing baseball. I turned to Ramin and I'm literally like, what are we doing on the grass? I thought we were coming to watch a baseball game. I was not prepared for this. It was very stressful. There was a lot of people looking at you. After walking around, we got to go check out this like brand new game room that they installed inside of Petco Park. You don't see a lot of like traditional sports getting on to these like huge trends early on if you will say that these guys have had this gaming room for like a year So it was really awesome to see that as you guys know I actually own an esports org space station gaming make sure you guys follow us I gotta see this really awesome game room and then we moved over and we got to see like the batting cages and I, I went in this like I don't even know what you call it. It was like a it was a virtual reality baseball game. So you literally have these goggles on and you're like swinging baseballs I don't know if we got any clips of that if we did it'll be over me talking right there. And then as soon as I come out of the batting cages, the guy that was like basically showing us around the entire time, gives me this jersey and you guys see this jersey right here. And right, it's a Padres, it's a Padres jersey. You guys know I will not wear something unless it has T Fox brand on it. So I, I'm sure you're like curious, like Tanner, this is weird. We don't ever, you never see me wearing not my brand. He gives me this jersey and I'm literally like, oh my God, like, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate that. But in the back of my head, I'm like, I just can't wear that though. And then I turn around, bam, T-Fox, baby. I don't know how Ramin set this up, but this is my first baseball game. We're getting a VIP experience. We get to see this massive game room. 
and then I get my own jersey with my favorite number, and it says T Fox on it. Literally the best of best worlds. And sorry, I just realized I'm waving my hand so much, but it just has so much excitement. Then we head up to this like brand new private booth that they were like literally giving to us for free. Like this amazing seat with all these crazy, like we had like full service of whatever restaurants we wanted. So we were like eating all this like fancy food and these really nice seats. We had this awesome view right behind like the batters. And of course, once we're up there, I, I think this is the coolest thing ever because I don't get to do things like this all the time. So I'm sitting there, I'm taking Snapchats, I'm having an awesome time. Still not thinking about the fact that I posted my seat number on my Snapchat earlier. We're chilling there, having a good time. It's the third inning. This is when they like, you know, every, every in between, they like to show all the fans and the crowds and all the stuff. Sitting there, I got my soda in my hand. I don't know what the heck's going on. I'm just, I'm just basically hanging out, you know, doing my thing, looking down. And I noticed his cameraman, but I didn't want to look up. And then he's on me. And then I look over to my left. I embarrassed myself. I embarrassed this nation. And I embarrassed, well, I guess it was pretty funny. Roll the clip. I can't believe I did that! I was surprised, but I thought it would be funny. I didn't mean to spill as much. I was trying to just like, be like, oh my god, and I actually spilt like soda everywhere. Um, but it was really funny and it was on the big screen and everyone laughed. So that was, that was pretty cool. At least it made everyone laugh and it was a really fun time. And then I start getting tweets and I start getting DMs and all these people telling me, Tanner, we saw you spill soda all over yourself. And then, this is where the Snapchat comes into play. Everyone in the crowd who was a part of the Fox fam, and by the way, I'm in no way complaining. I love meeting you guys more than anything. This was actually one of the coolest nights I've had in a very, very long time. All the fans in the crowd, at least that knew who I was, thought that they saw me on the big screen. So they're like, oh my God, I gotta check Tanner's social medias to make sure that was actually him and that he's actually here. So if you go on my Snapchat, the only Snapchat I had posted at the time was my ticket seat number. <laughs> And then the waiter comes over who was serving us food and starts telling me, hey, uh, there's, some, there's some, some people looking for you out there. So I go over there and oh my gosh, this was the coolest part of my entire night. Not only did I spill soda all over myself in front of 40,000 people, it was crazy. So uh, let's play a little montage of all that. to make a video about this. I was not gonna film today, but I thought this was way too cool of an experience to pass up, and I wanted to share it with all you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Okay, now to finish off to, actually, let's get one more replay of me spilling soda all over myself. <laughs> now, to end off today's video, I thought it would only be appropriate that we react to other baseball cam fails. So without further ado, let's check some out. Oh, this is so inconvenient. I'm literally filming. Oh. My computer is dead. We'll be back. That is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time. If you guys want to get yourself some of the brand new Camo V2 line, uh, and you guys like my videos and you want to and you want to support T Fox brand, there will be a link down below. We just came out with them like five days ago. Uh, so if you guys want to check that out once again, I know. Look at my jersey. Wow. That's beautiful. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up. Also, get stoked for tomorrow's video because we're going to be back on track doing a normal video. I just thought today was too cool and I could not pass up talking about it. So, peace out. Let's roll the Fox film. Remember, guys, to subscribe to Tanner Fox. Like the video. Comment down below what you thought of the video. I thought it was, like, it was awesome. The video was awesome. And please also subscribe to my channel. But also, make sure to subscribe to Tanner Fox. Roll the outro. I wish you were so